I am Grace on tour, and travel is my biggest passion. Normally, I'm out in the world showcasing beautiful destinations, but at the moment, I'm exploring my home country of Sweden. In the previous videos, we made it to Sweden's largest island called Gotland, explored the capital city of Visby, and drove around to the best places on the south part of the island. And in this video, I bring you along to the north part, so let's head out there. We are starting the day at the Roma Abbey ruin. This ruined church is from the 12th century. And uh, yeah, the ruins still remain here today. Uh, it's a really cool place, so uh, yeah, let's check it out. some old childhood memories because I've actually been in this specific place one time before um, a summer when I was younger uh, as you may know I'm uh, an old figure skater and I went to skating camp here during the summer and this was one of the most fun activities that we did during our time here we would come down to the square uh, go to the shop buy some snacks and then jump on the trampoline in the main square uh, so yeah this is some really fun childhood memories and if you want to enjoy some trampolining in the middle of sleep then uh, come here <laughs> I think that the biggest company or industry on this island is based here in Slite. Uh, it is Cementa and they create cement and here behind me you can see the limestone excavations which is the material that is made to create the cement. As you can see it is a very cold and foggy day however it makes the scenery very mystical and uh, we've made it to a place called Smeyen which is an old abandoned limestone quarry and apparently it is quite a popular place uh, to go swimming uh, in the summer uh, and uh, yeah the water is supposed to be quite nice so uh, a lot of people do that uh, I'm not going swimming today Day, uh, which is quite understandable. To be able to get to the most northern tip of Gotland, you have to take a ferry. Uh, to Fårö from Fårösund and uh, the ferry takes about eight minutes. We have now made it to the most northern part of Gotland. We are by the Fårö lighthouse, another beautiful lighthouse from 1847. We've now been to the most south part yesterday and now the most northern part. Fåre, which means uh, sheep island, is one of the places where you can find a lot of artists. Uh, it's the place where Ingmar Bergman came, uh, the famous director. And uh, yeah, a really special part of Gotland. Anything it takes to make you stay But I can't rely on you Doesn't matter what I do You say you need a time I think you mean a buyout Cause it's pretty clear So it is now lunchtime and we have come to a place called Kreperi Tati And uh, yeah, it's a really uh, cool kind of retro cafe restaurant 
and um, yeah, they uh, as you could see, they have like a scrapyard in the back, so with old cars. Um, and yeah, their speciality is the crepes, and they have uh, also vegan versions, which is great. So I have the the foodie vegan version. Uh, so we're going to dig into this, and they also have uh, sweet ones as well. After a delicious lunch, we have made it to a place called Langhammars, and this is also a place where you can find raukar, which are uh, unique for Gotland. And uh, yeah, these are also quite majestic and very tall. As I mentioned before, Fora was a special place for the famous Swedish movie director called Ingmar Bergman. And he's actually buried here at Fora uh, graveyard uh, together with his wife. And we have now made it from the most northern part of the island to a place called Jungfrun or the Maiden. And also along the way we stopped off at the Blue Lagoon, which is a great spot for swimming during the summer especially. And uh, yeah, this uh, place is located in a very uh, small and calm village. And uh, yeah, in the distance you see this big rock formation, uh, which is the last one of uh, our time here in Gotland. Uh, we have seen quite a few of them uh, during our trip here. Say it to me. 